Whenever you want to stop doing something, always remember why you started doing something. Knowing the reason why you're doing what you're doing, it always motivates you to actually keep going. Because most of the time we begin with something, let's say a new journey or something, we, we begin to do something, but then at the middle of this process, most of the time we forget, like we forgot why I started doing this, why I had a passion for this, why I had this. So when we forget, most of the time it's because of this the circumstances in life, a lot of things are coming, reality backlash is coming. For instance, I started YouTube like 10 months ago, so Healy Nation, mm -hmm. and you know, as I keep doing it, you know, reality of life, let's say people just, they begin just to hate somehow. They just hate how I talk, or they hate how I react videos, they hate how I motivate people, for instance. And so because of these quarrels and this negative energy, it's very easy to lose motivation. And once I lose motivation, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be like, what am I getting from this? Why should I do this? Okay, I'm gonna stop. I don't know how to do this. I can do some other better things and stop. But at that moment, right before quitting, if I remember the motivation, the reason why I started Swahili Nation, then it will give me power and realize that, oh, oh, I just realized that I didn't start Swahili Nation for, 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 for somebody. I started this because it's my heart. I started this because it's it's in my God. You know, I want to do this. It's my passion. I want to bring Swahili to the world. That's what I want it to happen. I want to spread the message of love and peace to everybody out there. That's what I want. I want people to see that love and peace. Remembering that, even if I was thinking about quitting, I'm not going to quit. What is that thing that you want to quit right now? Let's say you're married and you're about to get divorced right now. Let me talk to couples right now. Just think a little bit. Why did you marry that girl? Why did you marry that woman? Why did you enter into the relationship with that person? Think about that. What was the motivation behind? What was the reason? When you think about that woman and that situation, I'm telling you, even if you want to quit, you're not going to quit. Okay. It's in human nature to get tired of things. It's in human nature to get used to things. When we're getting used to this thing, we want to try to change to something else. We want to try, it's in human nature to try something new every single time. That's why you find people who are dating this person today, tomorrow that person, today that person, no. Because we always have this nature of wanting new things, wanting new pleasure, wanting new uh, experiences and things like that. There's a problem inside of you because Maybe you lost the motivation of why you're loving that person. Maybe you want the motivation why you're doing what you're doing. Quitting is not an option. Failure is not an option. You cannot afford to fail. You cannot afford to quit. No matter how hard it gets, you cannot afford to quit. Why quitting? Why? For who? For yourself? I mean, you can only quit if whatever you're doing is bad and it's not benefited to you and to other people. Of course, go ahead and quit. But if you're doing is good, if you're doing is something that brings positive energy to this world, if you're doing some good to change society, some good that God has called you to do, why quitting? Keep it going. Why? Just keep going. Keep it going. Why quitting running after your dreams? Who told you that everything uh, is, is impossible? Who told you that? Let me tell you something. Everything is possible under the sun, under the power of the Almighty God. Everything is possible. Nothing is impossible. You cannot afford to quit. You cannot afford to fail. And even if you fail, don't quit. Because failure will just boost you up. It will just give you different energy to move forward faster than ever before. To have that ego that I must achieve this. There's this one billionaire in Tanzania. He wrote his book uh, right before he died. Uh, his name is Renan Mengi. He wrote a book and he said, I can, I must, and I will. The spirit of success. That's the spirit of resilience. That's the spirit of not giving up. That's the spirit of just bringing all the way in, baby. That's the spirit. Why quitting? You can. You must do it. And you will do it. I mean, God is on your side. Why are you afraid? Why not pursuing what you're pursuing? So never quit. Quitting is not an option, people. Thank you.